we have to start from page number 17 okay i checked and rechecked okay children i checked and we checked my calculation now what is the narrator is saying here the narrator is saying that he rechecked Hey, all his calculations. What all the calculations he was making? He has made the calculations that at what time they are going to reach to that island, Isle Amsterdam. Okay, and are they going into a proper direction? So what he did, he started rechecking all his calculation. We have lost our main compass, and I was using a spell which had not been corrected for magnetic variation. Now the narrator is saying that. He has lost it. They have lost their main compass. Okay, in the storm, the storm which came and that ship, the water which was there on the ship, because of that, they have lost their main compass. Now what happened? They will be using a spare one, and they know it is a bit defective. And what is there in it? And it will not give a proper magnetic variation. But then too, they are using it. Because they have nothing other thing left to do. Okay, they are now we can say they are helpless. They have to use this only because the main one has been somewhere. It has been lost somewhere. Fine. I made uh, I made an allowance for this and another estimate of the influence of the westerly currents which flow through this part of the Indian Ocean. So what he did, he made some rough estimates. Okay. He made by that compass, by the help of that compass, by reading the charts again, he made a rough estimate. Okay, including what the influence that the westerly currents would have on the ship. Okay, he by making that calculations, by rechecking everything, we find out that what all influence will be getting by that westerly currents. Okay, and at what time they will be reaching the Island, okay, which they are able to locate. Fine. So what they, what he did, he just make a rough estimate, okay, that what all influence the westerly currents will put on their ship, and second thing, at what time they are going to reach to that island. Fine. About 2 p.m., I went on a deck and asked Larry to steer a course of 150 degrees. Now what he did at around 2 p.m. Okay, at around 2 p.m., the narrator went on the deck and asked his fellow crewman. His fellow crewman name was Larry, and he asked Larry to steer the ship to about 1 185 degrees. Okay, I, I if we were lucky, I told him with a with a conviction. I did not feel he would ex, he would accept to see the island. About 5 p.m. Now, what is conviction means, children? Strong belief. Conviction means strong belief. Okay. Again, I'm repeating. Conviction means strong belief. Fine. So, what is here? That. So, what is happening? He had a strong belief. Okay. But still, he said that he was not sure. But about when they are going to reach the island or they are going to reach the island or not or they are going in a definite direction or not he was not sure about anything but then he said that he had a strong belief that if they go if they are going in a proper direction and if they are lucky okay he was hoping that if we were lucky so we would be able to reach the island at about 5 pm okay so what are estimates he has done okay now still he is not sure that either we are going to reach the island or not. Fine. So what he did, he just make this a rough estimate and believe, just hope that if we are lucky, if we are going to be lucky, then what will happen? We will reach the island at about, at about around 5 p.m. Okay. Then with a heavy heart, I went below, climb on my bunk. Bunk here means children, bed. Bunk means bed. Okay. Climb on my bunk. With amazingly dozed off and amazingly dozed off. Then what happened? He went below. Okay, below means inside the ship, and he have a heavy heart. Why he have a heavy heart? Because he did not have any hope of finding the island. Okay, he is with a very heavy heart because he has not having any hope. 
that he was able to find the island okay but what he did he went below he was with a very heavy heart and what he did he climbed on his bed and amazingly he slept those of me taking a small nap okay and he slept okay we don't know when that the sleep came to him and he just slept when i woke up at 6 pm the and growing uh, and growing dark i knew we man we must have missed the island and with the sail we have left we wouldn't hope to beat back into the westerly winds now what happened children he slept around 2 pm and when he woke up it was what it was 6 pm so he saw that the weather outside was completely dark again okay again it was dark it was going dark and he thought that he has missed the island fine earlier also he was not having any hope now he felt that it's 6 pm and we have missed the island because according to his estimate they are going to reach at 5 pm to that island but now it is 6 so he thought that i have missed that island and he started worrying about that how they would tackle with the westerly winds more of the ship was because the ship was not capable to sail any more okay any further so what is happening they were a little worried that how we are going to tackle with that ship how we are going to go more into the ocean because the ship is not that capable that it is going to sail any more i told you that it is broken from many parts okay the water is still coming inside the mast has become horizontal the storm jib has fallen down so everything is happening to it they are in a very worse condition fine so he become a little worried when he look outside of the ship and he saw that the good the sky is going dark again he become a little worried he now he started thinking that how we are going to reach that island how we are going to survive okay he was actually not thinking of the island he was thinking that how i am going to survive in this storm fine when my ship is i know that my ship is not even capable of sailing any more so how i am going to survive okay at that moment a tossel head tossel head children we can say a disarranged hairs the hairs which are not combed properly tossel head means the hairs which are not combed properly okay and here tossel head is refers to the head of his son okay appeared on my bunk he said that while i was thinking of these all these things okay his son his son jonathan he came to this narrator okay can i get can i can i have a hug jonathan asked sue was right behind him so what did the son said the son said that he asked his father he can i get a hug and his daughter sue okay she is all she also came along with his son so they both were in their father's cabin and when they came the son asked his father that can i get a hug okay why i am getting a hug i asked now the author asked that he asked the reason that why you are giving me a hug well because you are the best daddy in the world and the best captain my son replied his son replied that you are the best daddy and you are the best captain okay not today john i am afraid now what he said that no today i am not a best daddy i am not a best captain and i am a little afraid why he was afraid he was afraid that now they are not going to survive they will all die because they have missed the island okay you you must be said sue in a matter of fact voice you found the island okay and what did the daughter said no you are a best dad and a best captain why and she shouted that we have found the island what out shouted and what is the reaction of the narrator he becomes surprised and he said what we find the island it is out there in front of us they chorus chorus means said together okay as big as a battleship and what the daughter said yes the ship is just in front of the island okay we can see the island in front of us and he was saying that the island is as big as a battleship okay i rushed on the deck and gazed with a relief at the stark outline of the isle of amsterdam children s t a r k stark outline means sharp sharp outline okay so what did the narrator did 
the narrator rushed to the deck and gave a sigh of relief when he saw the island he become a he become relieved okay they could see the complete outline of isle amsterdam in front of them it was only a bleak piece of volcanic rock with a little vegetation now what is there there was a bleak bleak piece of volcanic rock in front of them and it had a little vegetation also okay little vegetation means here and there it is not properly proper vegetation is not there here and there some plants are there fine fine so it uh, the most beautiful island in the world and it was the most beautiful island they have ever saw it was the most beautiful island in the world okay we anchored off shore for the night and the next morning all 20 inhabitants of the island cheered us as they helped us ashore now what happened they anchored the ship okay to some distance from the shore fine and at night they have anchored the ship at some distance from the shore and the next day all the 28 people those who are living on that island okay though they were they were living on that small island and what happened they cheered them and as well as helped them okay to get out of to get on that island now earlier now at the night they were not on that island they were just a little bit far from the island and they parked their ship there only fine anchored means they parked their ship there only but in the morning what happened all those 20 people those who are living on that island they come cheered them and even helped them to get on to the island fine with the land under my feet again my thoughts were full of larry and herby cheerful and optimistic under the dry stress and of mary who stayed at the wheel for all those crucial hours now he was saying that the narrator is saying that when the moment he put his feet on the island okay the moment when he put his feet on the island he was only thinking about larry and herb they were what his crew men okay those who have joined him from cape town okay so he was thinking of those two people and he was thinking that they were always happy and optimistic okay throughout the situation throughout the terrible situation terrible stress they have faced when the storm came when the ship was full of water these two person are full of optimism they are so optimistic okay which pose the narrator that he will be, that he become determined and he decided that he will fight with everything every situation so he was thinking about those two people that during the terrible stress during the worst situation what are they they are so they are so happy okay and they are so optimistic and they face everything okay very bravely they have faced everything very bravely and he also thought about his wife mary okay who has taken the place of a captain and what is this and she was steering the wheel all through the difficult times okay she was she was holding the wheel hai na and she has taken a place of a captain there and she was just uh, go, uh, just go, she was also optimistic during the difficult time which they faced okay most of all i thought of a 7 year old girl who did not want to worry us about a head injury which subsequently took six minor operations to remove the recurring blood clot between skin and skull and he said that he was also thinking of his daughter his daughter sue who had no her head injury and who did not even come and disturb his her parents about this injury he didn't told about to his parents about this injury okay she knows this thing that she has got hurt very badly but she didn't want to trouble his parents her parents because she knows this thing that if she is going to do that the parents become worried and now the most important thing at that time was to come out of that situation fine so he was thinking of of his daughter and he says that the head injury of his daughter took six operations it took six operations to remove the blood clot that was reappearing between the skin and the skull okay now that injury was so bad 
that it took six operations okay after that six operations that part that clot of the blood has been removed from his daughter's head and of a six years boy who was not afraid to die and last he was thinking about his six years old boy okay john who did not afraid to die and shows a great courage and positivity throughout the worst situation okay he has shown a great courage and positivity positivity okay children so this is your chapter write down some meanings on this page only you can t uh, i r e s t diaries means terrible okay under the dry stress diaries means terrible okay and recurring r e is c u r r i n g recurring means occurring again reappearing or occurring again reappearing or occurring again okay again and again the things which are coming are called this okay fine okay now we will discuss this question answers also understanding the text and talking about the text both we are going to discuss list the steps taken by the captain to protect the ship when rough weather begin to check the folding of the water in the ship now first of all to protect the ship when the rough weather begin okay what all he had done to protect the ship what he then all the things that he put he started fixing the things he put a what a trash on the a hatch on the opening which are the opening which are there on the there deck he just covered that opening okay and what all what all he has done he just started calculating everything he checked the charts and he found that they can move towards the small island okay which is a few hundred kilometers away from where they are okay less is to check the foldings of the water in the ship what all he had done to check the foldings of the water in the ship that is the pumps and all okay with the help of the pump he uh, he tried to put lot of water outside the ship and even he tried to repair that starboard okay we have started now here that with the help when he found that hammer screws and canvas what he did i struggle back on the deck with the starboard side bashed open he saw that the starboard was open okay and the lot of water is coming from there so what he say what he did he just started repairing that he wants to save his family and the ship at any cost so he made started making efforts for it okay next describe the mental condition of the voyagers on 4th and 5th 4th and 5th january 4th and 5th january what happened on that day children on 4th and 5th january what was there in the last class only we studied that this is here on <coughs> on page number 16 then on 4th january they have pumped out a lot of water but still the water is coming from somewhere okay and what is this they have eaten their meal after almost 36 hours after two days almost two days one and a half days they have eaten their meal and the water is still coming the clouds are becoming again they are becoming black okay and the wind was blowing fast so at the speed of 40 knots so it is now a dangerous thing and they become tense and what they thought they thought that they are going to die fine this happened on 4th and 5th january these two things happen fine describe the ships in the narrators of the events as indicated the three section of the text give a suit give a subtitle to each section now children you have to describe the ships okay describe the ships in the narration of the events narration of the events children just like see i tell you just how their journey started first of all okay when they have when they have done three years journey okay planned three years journey when they the first initial stage when they have crossed okay and they didn't face any trouble that was the first part the second part when they reached cape town and they started their journey towards the east and at that time they faced a lot of problems so what all problems came there that is the second part okay and the third part is when they 
when we rechecked everything and they were up they they finally reached the island and they were safe okay that was the third part okay okay what is the difference did the uh, did you notice between the reactions of an adults and the children when face the danger or uh, what is the difference between them children or uh, both the children are very optimistic okay they were always encouraging their parents whenever their parents started feeling low and they started feeling that now the ship is going to sink and we are all going to die okay they encouraged their parents even his son who was just so small 6 years old he told that if we are together no we cannot die okay so they were so optimistic fine so they were so determined and they did not fear of dying okay <clears throat> how does the story suggest that optimism helps to endure the dry stress now this i have discussed how they have the story suggests this now in this you have to give the example of larry and herb also okay because larry and herb they were also so optimistic throughout the terrible situations even his wife and his children also everybody is very optimistic okay so that's why they are able to overcome all the worst situations which were there which came during their journey what lesson do we learn from the such a rajesh experience when we face when we are face to face with it we learn that we should not leave hope we should be optimistic okay we should be determined we should determined to overcome the fears which are coming we should determined to we are we should be determined to face the problems which are coming in front of us do why do you think people undertake such and venturous expectations in ex in spite of the risk involved now this you have to answer that why people used to take because you all used to take such such adventurous okay things you do in your life and there is some or the other reason for doing it okay children now if you are having any doubt children anything you i uh, want to ask you can unmute yourself and ask And don't leave. I have to take your attendance now. Don't leave. So if you want to ask any doubt, 